Hey, it's Pip from Pip Priest Art here. I'm gonna do something a little bit different today. I'm just gonna go for it. It's something that I've wanted to do for ages. I've just been a bit nervous too. It's something that you've probably seen a lot of before, but I wanted to have a go. I've seen this YouTube trend of following a Bob Ross tutorial in real time, and I've just been a massive Bob Ross fan since I was about 15 years old. And I just wanted to have a go. I, I know I'm really late to the party on this one and that loads of people have done it before and I know it's not an original thing but I just wanted to have a go as well and I thought it would be a bit of fun. Bob Ross is so relaxing to listen to. I am sure that this experience is not going to be quite so relaxing. <laughs> I have asked my husband to pick out a Bob Ross tutorial for me. Um, I don't know what I'm going to be painting exactly, but I know what colours I need to use. And I know that the canvas needs to be black, so I have prepared my canvas. And um, the colours that I need for it are... I've had to make some substitutions, so it might not go perfectly well. But I've got titanium white. Um, it wanted brilliant red, but I've got cadmium red. I think that should be okay. Alizarin crimson got that, Indian red, and I've got burnt sienna here, Van Dyke brown, but I've substituted that for, um, what have I substituted it for? Burnt umber, burnt umber I have substituted it for. It wanted a certain kind of black, but I've got lamp black, I thought that would be okay. Thalo blue, and I've got viridian green, but it wanted thalo green. So I think, I hope, I mean, <laughs> there's a lot of substitutions there, so I've not quite got the, it's not going to look exactly the same. But I'm just going to follow the tutorial. I'm going to have a, a little go, a little bit of fun with it, and we'll see what we end up with. Welcome back. Glad you could join me today. You know, they say that time really goes by when you're having fun. And here we find ourselves on our last show of this series. So I thought today, you know, since I lived in Alaska so long, I'd do a special Alaskan painting. Now, I've taken a black canvas, as you can see. Now, we painted this with just a flat black acrylic paint, allowed that to dry. And then on top of that, I've put all different kinds of transparent colors. So it's completely covered with a thick paint. Done so that. It's all, and I think today we'll do some northern lights. So come on up here. Let's, let's get started. I'm going to use the old fan brush today. Probably one of the best. I don't have a fan brush. And draw in some basic shapes. And if you've never seen the northern lights, Start with the old fan brush, or it into titanium white. This feels fast already. We already have all those beautiful colors on the canvas. So all we need is white. Let's go up here. Oh no, it's blue. Now, decide where these curtains, or these lights are going to be, and just begin tapping. Okay, just calm down. All I'm doing is just tapping. And tapping the color in, and making nice. basic like shapes. Ooh. Just very basic shapes. And put a little more paint where you want it to be a little brighter. Okay. And we have one coming right across here. And I'm just tapping titanium white on there. Sometimes there's little ridges and they bounce around it. There it comes. See? Just right on around. Right on around. And we will have three layers of lights in this painting. And you can have as many as you want or as few as you want. Oh, I think I put this one here then. Up to you. Now then. Now then. This is where the fun starts. Let's take a one inch brush and I'm going to begin grabbing this and lifting it upward. Just grab it and pop it. Just pop, pop it. it up. Just pop it. There we go. Okay. okay. Oh, no, I'm not ready yet. Slow down, Bob. Oh, why they just started? Oh, come on. Cool. Oh, pop it. Well, Johnny Horton wrote a beautiful song about. Northern lights. Oh, I like that. Northern lights were running wild in the land of the midnight sun. Now then, I'm going to take a two inch brush and go all the way through this and lift up. All the way through. On the same angles. All the way. Look at that. There you go. You can pull them as high as you want. In some parts of the country, mm. they don't see a lot of color in northern lights. They see maybe only whites or yellows, and you can do yours that way. Where I lived, right outside of Fairbanks, in a little town called North Pole, 
Sometimes we would see lights in every color in the rainbow. So that makes it a little more interesting. So I figured if I did a bunch of colors, you'd find your color in here somewhere. Too much on the You see, right in here, this is where the crimson was. We have sort of a lavender feel in here, blue in here. Over here, there's a little phthalo green mixing with a phthalo blue. Makes some beautiful, beautiful colors in the sky. Take a little bit of black. Okay, I'm liking it a bit more now. Put little bumps and hills and valleys, whatever you want in your mountain. Just drop it in there. I can't see what you're doing, Bob. It's all black. And scrape off you need to make it brighter. You really, really can't scrape too hard. Oh, I shouldn't have used so much paint. A large brush. Grab it. Oh, it looks good on the screen. Oh, this just basically removes excess paint. The more of this paint that you can get. Now then, I'm going to take the two inch brush and go all the way through this. Okay. And lift up. All the way through. Follow the same angles. Oh, okay. All the way. I get this now. Look at that. Okay, I'm just going to. There you go. You can pull these as high as you want. How does he do this? He's a genius. In some parts of the country, they don't see a lot of color in Northern Lights. They see maybe only whites or yellows. Well, like what's happened over here? Where I lived, right outside of there, there's a little town called North Pole. Sometimes we would see lights in every color in the rainbow. So that makes it a little more interesting. So I'm not doing what you're doing. Sorry. Hey, see, right here, this is where the crimson was. You have sort of a lavender feel here. Yeah. Blue here. You always look lovely, Bob. Green mixing with a blue. Makes oh, some beautiful, oh. beautiful colors in the sky. Just wash it over us. Give it a shake. <laughs> this beat the devil. Out of this it. beat the devil. And no painting of Alaska would be oh, complete. Oh, paint on Oh no! Take a little bit of blue. Stop it! Stop doing stuff, stuff you're not supposed to do. Find that brown in there. Very dark. Oh, find that brown. Oh. Help! Cut across. Get that little roll of paint right okay. on the edge of the knife. Okay, let's go up here. Have you just got Van Dyke Brown? What are you using? I think you've got Thalo Blue in it, right? And no painting of Alaska would be complete without an almighty mountain. No. Pull it out flat, cut across, get that little roll of paint okay. right on the edge of the knife. Okay, let's go up here. You have to make a big decision. Where does your mountain live? Maybe. Right there. How does it get it to roll? It takes very little paint because the canvas is already black. I still can't see what you're doing, Bob. See? Put little bumps and hills and valleys, whatever you oh, want. Oh, you know what? I'm just going to do Just, just go it for again. it. Just go for it. Like so. And scrape off all the excess paint. You really, really can't scrape too hard. Then you'll we'll take a large brush, grab it, and pull. This just basically removes excess paint. The more of this paint that you can get off, the easier the next layer is to stick. So take off all of it that you can get off. This is also an excellent way of using brush strokes to begin laying out your highlights and shadows. See? See how you can pull all kinds of effects? There, there you are. And you're not committed. You can just keep changing this. How far over did these mountains go? I'm just going to put them on the shadow. You can see. There, that's that easy to find out how your highlights and shadows will look in there. Pull it through, or you just keep going to spend all day just playing there. Okay. okay, now then, let's use our old knife. We'll go into titanium white and a little bit of blue. There, just, just enough to tint it. Okay. Pull it out very flat, as flat as you can get it. Get tough with it and come across. Get that little roll of paint right on the edge of the knife. Now then, let's have some snow just coming right down the side of this mountain. Wherever you want it to go. No pressure. No pressure at all. Okay, I'm going to try. Check this out. Okay, right up here on the top, we want, want a little bit of snow right up here. There. It comes right down. Maybe it joins together. You have to make big decisions here. Yeah, maybe, maybe. 
Let's begin with our shadows. For the shadows, we'll take the blue and the white, mix it together. But it's hard. How does this stop it from mixing? Well, maybe we'll make it a little bit lighter. It's still a little dark for what I want. That's much better. Cut across it, our little roll of paint again. Okay. Now then, no pressure. No pressure. Just let it barely caress the canvas. You can do anything that you want here. It's not doing what I want, like though, Bob. That's the problem. Now we can take this one and pull it distinctly through, and it pushes that one right back. Ooh. <laughs> do you know you hear that kind of power? Push mountains around. When I go home, the only thing I can push around is a chair, but here I can push around anything. I hear you, Bob. Some mountains and trees and rivers. Oh, what, Bob? Yours looks amazing. Ah, come on, okay. Very firm Just paint. I want this paint to be as firm as possible. Like a top. Okay, now see this little point here? It needs to have its own private shadow. And if it doesn't have its own shadow, it won't stand out like an individual. And you can just bounce it back and forth here and play. Shoot okay. Maybe, maybe Getting this a bit now. Quite right like there. that. As many or as few as you want in your world. creation. But each one of them, see here, now, okay. over here, you follow these angles. Always pay attention to the angles in your mountain. And that's what you're oh, I can get rid of some of the bits that I don't like here. There. This is good. Yeah. I like this. Very gently lift upward. This takes out all those little tap marks, softens, blends, creates the illusion of mist. Okay. There. Let's do that. Okay. Now we can play some more. Let's find us a fan brush. I don't have I think one. We'll just go right into this mixture we had before. We made the mountain with it. It was black, uh, a little blue, black and blue, a little bit of brown. Just mix them on the brush. Load that brush full of paint. Look at all the paints in there. Okay, let's go back up here. Maybe there's some happy little trees that are back here. So now, if you get these too far apart, they're going to begin looking like okay. fence posts. This is all right. So if you if you little evergreens that are don't have to continually wash them. We take a little blue and white. White. This was just a little of the shadow color that was left over. So I don't like trees. I'll just pop in some indication of some happy little tree trunks. Just happy little, little trees. I feel up. like mine don't look like trees, and I want to blame the brush, but then there's that saying. A bad workman just always blames his tools. A little lighter. Yeah. But I haven't got a fan brush. Just makes it a little prettier. So you're playing light against dark, dark up. against light, continually. Well, what are you doing now, Rob? That's what painting's all about. Are you, are you adding white paint? What's he adding there? Mm -hmm. Oh no, I haven't even added my trees yet. Mm -hmm. Give us a chance, is, Bob. We can start playing with a little detail. We'll take that same old black color, just a lot of paint. See that little light area yeah, now? Did you separate it? It look like we said a bit. Oh, boy. Oh, I'll have to yeah. stop again. I'll go back to it. No. Okay, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to add at least a little touch mm -hmm. of the liquid white to it. Yeah, <laughs> all, some, all some bright things happening here. So I'm going to take it. <laughs> what? Out. No! Come on! Oh. Allow it to mix with that color it's underneath. All the blues. I'm not keeping up with you. So what was it? He got some blue. Just sort of make a decision, let it happen. Now I'm a happy little reflection to live right in the Oh, we're doing a reflection. I need this white because the color is already in the canvas. Right, so I'm going to do some tapping. Go and some light white. Across. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. I can do this. Yeah. Oh, I can't do this. Take a little bit of liquid white and a little bit of titanium white and mix it together. Pull it out flat. Get a little roll and just put the indication of a little snow. What? Right oh, wow. Serious. Just barely touching the canvas. Just barely touching it. There. Just there we are. Okay. 
I'm sorry, I'm cheating a bit because I've lost where he is. Let's put in let's, let's go back. You want to be the brightest and then work outward in both directions. And automatically it'll get darker as it works away from that area. Oh. Have a clean brush. Oh, I've done it all wrong. Yeah. I'll take a little bit of liquid white and a little bit of titanium white and mix it together. Pull it out flat. Get a little roll of paint on the knife. Tiny little roll. There it is. And let's go up here and just put the indication of a little... No, you're going to have to stop. You're just going to have to calm down, Bob. Because this ain't happening unless I just take them out. Oh, his looks dead good. I guess he does know what he's doing. Oh, it's looking all right. It's looking all right, but it's not great. Can I just bring a little bit of black up and shoot? Oh no! light brush and a dark brush. <sighs> okay, let's let's carry on. So he's doing something with his palette knife. In fact, I am going to need some white paint. So I'm just going to get some white paint and I'm not going to pause it again. I don't think. I might pause it again. Mike said he wanted this painting, so I feel like under pressure. Ooh. What now? What direction is everything going in there? There we are. I'm gonna drop it in right there, just like that. And he lives right out there. Where does he live? In Tristan. I'm gonna take a little touch of that blue and white mixture, load it on the fan brush, and come right along here. Just put the indication of a few little highlights. These trees are far away. I don't want too many. If you get too many, just take your dark paint, go right back over and it'll eat it right out. Alright. Alright. What? Alright. How have you done that? So far, I'm already behind. I'm only just, just caught. Some bigger trees. Same old color. Just use the blue. Bob, you are a genius. Mix it well. Okay, let's go right up here. Maybe. Yep. I see a big tree that lives right there. What? What? Where? where? Start with just a corner of the fan brush, work it back and forth, back and forth. And as you work down the tree, add more and more pressure. Down here you're getting tough. Oh, really? Taking out all your frustrations down here. There we go. What? I can't see that tree. I can't see any of these trees that you're painting at the moment, Bob. Okay. Little corner. Right. See, I think everything's like people. Let's get crazy. I don't want it goes way up and goes all the way through this side of the light. But it makes a beautiful painting. And these black canvases, when you change the light source, the painting changes. You put this under three different lights, and you'd almost you'd almost believe you had three different paintings. It changes that much. Paint another tree. Trees cover up a multitude of sins. Yeah. We'll have another one. Yeah, we'll put him right here. He's right there. Oh, I like adding the trees. Yeah, let's go up here. I may even have some happy little snow covered bushes. So, all we do is just beginning to lay in some of the very basic shapes. You're not looking for detail yet, only very basic shapes. Very basic. Okay. 
Yeah, let's go right over in here. Maybe there's a happy bush. Yep, yeah. that's right there. Comes right on out. Or just, just wherever, just wherever you, want. you want. Wherever you want. Maybe it's a new name, it's a few. Just, just let your imagination take you. Now I'm taking some liquid white and going right into titanium white. Look at all the paint that's on the brush. It's really full. Get us up here. Now then, you begin picking out for all the little bushes there. And just with very little touch, give it a little push. Look at all these little snow-covered bushes. And Alaska, they have ice fog. Ooh! And ice fog occurs normally when it's about 30 below the colder. And it covers everything. Everything with frost. It is so beautiful. Trees look like they're in full foliage. It's so beautiful. And the light plays through it. And these, all these little ice-covered frosty things, they act like prisms. And they break up the light. And you see all colors in the trees. Just, oh, you have to go see it. I can't, I can't explain it all to you. Oh, no, my battery's dying. But there's a um, just grows right out of the brush. I will have to pause so I can get a thing for this. I was just enjoying that too. Sorry about that. My uh, This camera just uh, died on me so I had to recharge it. So I'm, I'm back now. Um, I don't know how it's going. I'm going to need to make some adjustments after this, I think. But I think we're on to our last three minutes or so. So um, let's see how it goes. Come on, Bob, where are you? And we'll put another one right there. There they go. Just drop them in. Oh, Just really happy like little technique. bushes. This one's quite good. Happy little bushes. There. Let's go over to this tree. Don't want him to be left out. And you know me. I gotta have a little cabin in here. Oh, I don't want to do the cabin, to be honest. You, you want to do... You, I'll, I'll just do it. Okay, we'll do the cabin. And that gives us a quick go for cabin. it. We can just bring I think I need to, to do the cabin. Do we, we don't want that one to be left Let's out. Let's bring these up a bit. Put that wherever you want it. Okay, maybe some's coming. Pull it across. Need a little front on that cabin. A little bit right along here. A little bit of brown and white here, just to put some highlight on him. Give him a little door. She has to see make everything look easy, and I'm behind again. What? Just like so. Oh, what? And that gives us a quick little cabin, and we can just bring some snow right down like that. See how easy that is. See how easy it is. Over here on the other side of the roof. We don't want that it's one. It's not easy, Bob. I'm just a genius. Put that wherever you want. Okay, maybe some's coming. There. Okay. I knew I shouldn't have done that. Pay attention to your angles when you're laying the snow in. Angles are very important. Very important. And let's pop a few more little bushes right in. Work in layers, completing the most distant part of your painting first and working forward. And this one's about done. From all of us here, happy painting. God bless. Still painting. So I'm going to keep painting and try and make this a little bit better. I don't feel like it's gone very well. I don't know how he does it.
から